Rob here at eTrailer.com and today you're going to be taking a look at the Kurt Custom Fit Class 2 Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2019 Nissan Rogue. And here's what our hitch is going to look like once we have it installed. It's going to have a really clean appearance to it. All we're going to see is that receiver tube sticking out because the cross tube is going to be completely hidden behind the bumper, giving it that really nice factory look. Our hitch is going to give us an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening, which is going to be really nice for those bike racks, some smaller cargo carriers, or if we're going to do some really light duty towing. The way we're going to mount any of our accessories is through the hitch pin hole here on the side. It is going to accept a standard half inch pin and clip. Now these are not included with our hitch, but you can pick them up here along with some locking devices to keep your accessories secure at eTrailer.com. Now if you do plan on doing some towing, obviously we're going to have to have a spot to put our safety chains. And our connection points are going to be welded to the bottom, loop style, and as you can see we'll have plenty of room to get most size hooks on or off. As far as the weight capacity is concerned, our hitch is going to have a 350 pound tongue weight. That's going to be the maximum downward force to the receiver tube. So if we want to carry a couple bikes with us, we can put a bike rack in there. Or if we go on a camping trip and we need to store that extra gear, we can free up space on the inside using a cargo carrier. Now as far as the gross trailer weight rating goes, it's going to have a 3,500 pound rating. That's how much our hitch can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. But keep in mind that our hitch is designed to work with specific ball mounts and you can find all those here at eTrailer.com. Also, you do want to double check your vehicle's owner's manual because you don't want to exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. Now, Kurt does recommend using a safety strap when carrying any non-trailer loads, such as a bike rack or a cargo carrier. I'd like to give you a few measurements. These are going to help you whenever you're looking for accessories for your hitch, like a bike rack or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's right about five and a half inches. That measurement is going to help you out when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough room and they're not going to come in contact with the rear bumper. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening is going to be right about 14 inches. Now at that height I would recommend a bike rack or a cargo carrier with a raised shank that way we get a little bit more ground clearance out of it. But now that we've seen what our hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's put it on together. To begin our installation we're going to start at the back of our Rogue and we're going to come to the driver's side. Now we're going to have these plastic panels that are covering up the frame rail on each side and we're going to need to pull these out. So if we look on the edge here, we'll have a push pin, we'll have a few going along the outer edge. So we're going to take a flat blade screwdriver, pop out the center section first, and that's going to relieve the tension off the push pin. Then we can come to the base and pull the rest of it out. We're going to work all the way around the edge, pulling all the push pins out. Now we're going to have one more plastic fastener. It's going to be all the way towards the front of the vehicle, right by our rear axle here. Now we're going to take a Phillips screwdriver and we're just going to very loosely and gently unscrew that push pin. And once that center comes out, should be able to kind of pull down on the panel a little bit while we're unscrewing it and it'll pop out. And we can pull the panel down and we'll set it aside. Now on the passenger side, we're going to have another appearance panel we're going to have to pull down and the push pin fasteners as well as that plastic fastener are all going to be in the same position. So we'll pull those out as well. And then we can pull this panel down and set it aside as well. And with the panel out of the way, if we look up on the passenger side, we'll have this tie down hook here. We're going to have two bolts on the bottom of the frame and we're going to have two on the inside. We need to pull all of those out. So we'll grab an 18 millimeter socket and pull the bolts out. And we'll pull our tie down hook down and this is not gonna get reinstalled. Now we're back on the driver's side frame rail here and you'll see that we have three threaded holes that are on the bottom of the frame. Those are going to be our three mounting locations on this side. I'm going to come back and I'm going to spray a little bit of spray lubricant into the holes. Then I'm going to take a nylon tube brush. I'm going to clean them out, make sure there's no dirt, debris, or rust in there. And that way we'll make sure that we're not going to cross thread the bolts when we put them in. You want to clean out each one of the holes, the three on the driver's side, as well as the two on the passenger side. 
But once all the weld nuts are cleaned out, it's not a bad idea to grab one of the bolts from your kit, and make sure you can easily thread it in by hand, and it's not going to cross thread. And before we put our hitch up, I'd like to go over the combination of hardware that we're going to use. That way it's a little bit easier rather than trying to show you while we're holding the hitch. But we're going to take one of the new bolts from our kit. We'll slide a conical tooth washer on it. And there's going to be little teeth on there and you want to make sure that they're facing up towards the frame and the hitch. We'll lift our hitch up, line up the holes, go through the hitch, and secure it into the frame right in the weld nuts. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch up. You want to go over the exhaust on the driver's side and then we're going to lift up the hitch till the holes line up with the weld nuts and you just want to get at least one started by hand that way we can have the hitch support itself and work on getting the rest of the hardware in. Then you're going to want to come back with a 19 millimeter socket and snug up all your hardware. You're going to want to come back with a torque wrench and torque all your hardware down to the specified amount in the instructions. We'll go back and repeat that for any remaining hardware we have. We can take our passenger side panel and we can put it back into position. Then we can just start putting all the push pins back in place. The driver's side panel can be put back in, but you're gonna to have to trim out a section of it because it's not gonna fit with the hitch in the way. So on ours today, we're gonna to be leaving it off. But that'll finish up your look at the Kurt Class 2 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2019 Nissan Rogue.